There's a, you know, to win on a Valentine's Day with me, Bell. What's up, everybody? I'm a Valentine here. Welcome back to the channel. I I'm trying to find my way, bro. I am just kind of stressed, worried, just a little overwhelmed. But I'm um, going to perform again. I'm. I just have to make it happen, bro. I'm at that point where it's like, man, forget all of this, and I'm holding on just because I know that. Better than you quit and start all over again. I need to make something happen, so I'm trying to sort it out, man. I still don't. I still don't know. I'm trying to sort it out. My battery is at 39%. Um, I need to get a portable charger. I finally got a charger, like a wall plug, and it, that wall plug has been giving me trouble at my house. So, but it's been working fine when I'm out, and if I put it on this one wall, it worked fine. But last night I didn't work for me, and then the other night it was being weird. I don't know. And the other day, I just took a picture of it. But literally, as I was plugging in my phone, I got back from a performance. I was plugging in my phone. I'm over here like, all right, I got to be careful with my money, save, and all this. What I'm starting to think about, because I'm thinking about how much how much it really costs to get around to like go to these performances and open mics and all this stuff. And I'm like, man, okay, I got to kind of like figure out how to do this. And that same night, my charger just it broke. And I'm just like, why now? It was the way it broke too. And I was like, it was irrefutably, irrefutably broken. And I was like, man, why now of all times? And I don't know. It's like, I feel like God is testing me. I don't know. It's just confusing. But I know that I need to keep going. I woke up this morning just somehow feeling vulnerable, like, to the girls. But I'm on my period. And I'm like... I know that leads to a sense of vulnerability sometimes. But I woke up and I was just feeling like extra vulnerable. And I saw this message from someone. And basically the message just made me, I had to ask myself what I want. Because I know that if I too closely associate myself with certain people that I'm gonna care a lot. And it leads to the potential for me to be distracted. And I feel like I've spent so much time being distracted. And um, I was listening to a little bit of Outwitting the Devil again, but I'm, I'm just reminded of how it talked about how the devil will distract you. And so people make jokes about how like, that girl is the devil of like, you know, there's like a seductress or something like that. But think about it. It's like that could, that really could apply because it's a distraction and it's a distraction from the thing that I need to do, which is to be on my purpose, be on my wave and find my success for myself. I want a house. I want to feel fulfilled. fulfilled. I want to be cared about. I want the people I work with to be my choice. I want it to be the life that I want. I want to feel happy every day. I don't want to be sighing all day at work. I've been sighing. Today, I was just like, <sighs> I don't want that for myself with my work in, in any capacity. And it's to the point where I'm like, you know, rather than me sitting here complaining and even trying to restart this whole cycle again, finding a new job and doing this. And it's like, if I have to, of course, then I will. But it's like, is it even worth doing all of that? even feeling prideful and feeling like my pride is hurt and I'm frustrated there. It's like, I don't even want my pride to have to be tested in any way here at all or anywhere at a job. I want to just be working for myself and doing it for myself. And um, I don't even want a distraction anymore. Like as crazy as it sounds, I don't want a boyfriend right now. Isn't that crazy? And I don't want to be tempted to settle. I don't want to be so, I don't want to want to fill that space of like this morning when I felt vulnerable, I was like, it's a good thing that I don't have a boyfriend right now because it would just keep me in a little small mental space. And I don't need to be in a small mental space. I need to be thinking big. I need to be thinking big, bitch. Like, I really do. I don't want to be stuck in a small town vibe. And I think I kind of got uh, into this little romantic period um, of just thinking and thinking that you know, a legal U-turn. Um, <laughs> just watching the legal U-turn. Oh, um, what's it called? 
it was romantic to just be like working in a coffee shop and like have a little room and she's like almost there and like all of this but like I'm getting disillusioned and it's at that point now where it's like bro do or die like last night I had a headache and my stomach was hurting I even said on the video I was like I have bubble guts and a headache but I still went and performed and it's like I'm I'm also feeling ready it's like I know myself now like I know I'm a genius I know that I am amazing I know I'm gonna be one of the greatest performers that ever lived I know I am one of the greatest artists that's ever lived I'm the greatest I am amazing and I know that and it's time to move on that with action though and let me humble myself a little bit I have a lot to still grow from I have a lot to work on my performance needs a lot of work my voice needs a lot of work my artistry my music it needs a lot of work but it's at that point where it's like I'm not waiting to work on it anymore I don't want to wait to work on it I want to be actively in it I want to be knee deep I want to be neck deep in this now I'm not trying to play about this anymore I'm tired of going days without using my gifts I'm sick of that what's crazy is that you know I hum a lot at work already but I've even heard in the past few days of me performing I hear my voice getting better I've been performing what all last week actually I performed all last week um and yeah in a few days so maybe about a week's worth performances I hear my vocal cords like they're just warming up and I'm like imagine if I keep doing this every single day so I'm trying to sort out the funds like I was just calculating if I'm still saving 10% of what I make especially with this demotion um then how much am I really putting away how much am I using I don't want to be using all of my savings like that's just not smart I think keeping that 10% is always going to be important 10% is always mine to keep period period so I'm not dipping in my savings I'm not going to over dip I'm not going to hurt myself but um me still trying to figure out how to make sure i am going out and performing and maybe sometimes i need to take the bus and i try not to take the bus at night i need to make sure that i wake up early enough so that i take that free bus in the morning because i can't be spending 200 dollars in a month if i only have 700 dollars that i can actually spend left in the month after my bills i cannot spend 200 dollars a month just because i'm being not even just because i'm lazy but because i'm tired and undisciplined in the morning when i first wake up so I'm not catching the bus and I need to be waking up exercising anyways because what other part of the day am I going to do it in if I if I go to work at 8 a.m. every day or I go to work at 8 30 a.m. every day I get off of work at 5 p.m. from 5 p.m. until about 7 I'm getting to my destination of wherever I'm going to perform possibly even eating dinner if I'm even eating dinner at that time and then cool maybe I get home around 11 30 12 then it's like when the hell am I gonna work out? When am I going? When am I going to the gym? You know what I'm saying? It has to be that first part of the day. And um, I know I need to get on that. And even as I look at my face right now, I'm like, I'm seeing the chubs and that's, I'm very cute and I appreciate that. Thank you God for that. But I just finished a freaking white mocha with caramel drizzle and cinnamon dolce. And it's like, it's sitting right here. So if I'm not doing something to counteract that, it's gonna keep sitting here. And thankfully, somehow, I'm just in this mode of, like, willingness. I feel willing to do these things. Like, the the disillusionment, the disappointment, the anger with my job has pushed me to this state of being like, you know what? F this anyways. I need to be about my business anyways. I need to be about my father's business anyways. You feel me? On the Jesus wave. <laughs> no, but for real, like, I need to be about my purpose anyways. So yeah, I'm trying to sort out the finance part of it because, like I said, I don't want to be dumb. I, I was like, I was like, aren't teeth getting twisted? I know there was something with my wisdom teeth that I never got fixed. That's one of the first things I'm gonna do when I get money is um, get my wisdom teeth taken out and uh, sort out my teeth, like get all the cavities filled, all that. Cause what I'm not about to do, I'm not about to lose this pretty small. I pray God never takes it away. Um, yeah, y'all, that's what's going on. So 
funny thing, the voice in my head said, um, I've been here before when I um, was on the bus and I was like, what do you mean? But now I'm like, oh, this is really close to where I used to live. And I went over this area. Um, there's like this place where they have like scents and I was trying to do this perfume thing with my friend, a friend at the time. Um, and uh, yeah, we were over here. And I'd also come over here one time. I think there was a family dollar over there, but they moved it, I guess. Oh, there it is. Right there. Um, dang, poor bus. That bus is holding on by a thread. But hey, it's on. It's, it's working. Um, look at the little lights. That's cute. Um, yeah. I, let's see where I'm going. I have to take a shot. I have to take a shot. And, uh... I don't really know where to go to do that. I don't want to be rude. Um, so I'm going to sort that out real quick. Also, I think there's another store over here. Ooh, book buyers use books. There's actually a book I need. So I'm going there. I wonder if they have that. So let's go. What's that say? Not Elmo. No, <laughs> so no, many no, people no, have no, called no, me no, that. It's Elmo or Alma. Yeah. Is the, so wait, what is this part? Is this like a it's a it's a movie rental store. Is it like TV the same music. Oh man, it's been a minute stuff. Yeah, this has been around for years and they opened up this backspace hmm. the last year, year and a half. Oh they started showing movies and now they're doing music and it sounds great. It's, wow. It's kinda like a have you ever been over to the evening muse? I was there last night. Yeah, it's like a mini version of that. Oh my god. Yeah, it sounds good and it's intimate. And yeah, it, it kind of is. That I vibe. really like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's your guitar, I'm assuming? Yeah, that's that's my stuff up there. Gorgeous. Ooh, the Starbucks. Also. I don't know. I can't speak for him. This is so cool. I didn't even know this was over here. What? Neighbors, you can ask for. Uh, speaking of slavery, do you guys think that there was a dress code for public women? <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm talking yes. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Walked in there and I got cold feet right before I went in there. I met someone who told me something about that place that was a negative. And um, I was like, oh, I got scared, kinda. And I was like, oof, I don't think I should be here. And I'm very big on my intuition and my feelings. But one of the things I'm kind of working on right now is like trusting that intuition and then, I hate to say this, but bypassing the feelings sometimes. Like, there's some things I need. I need to be successful. I need to perform in order to become better so I can be crazy successful. And it's scary and I'm like I don't know I don't I don't like that energy necessarily in this moment but um one thing about me is I can I'm not trying to sound like egotistical when I say this but it is going to sound egotistical but I can transmute energy so like I can transform it I can transform that energy and I think that that's like the stepping into the power thing of like I have the power to transform this energy rather than lower myself to whatever, or raise myself, whatever. I can change it. And even if I don't change it, I tried. Um, my goal is to improve my performance. And I need to practice. I came out here for a reason. I could've went home. I could've went home for $2. $2 to get from work to go home. But instead, I came out here and bought something, discovered this whole other place. It's not like I wasn't supposed to be here. I know this is for a reason. You don't run into people like this. Just run into like two people. I know that doesn't happen for no reason, you know? So, I'm just gonna try. Let's go back. Want to cry. 
almost cried, just now. This random picture just fell out of this book. I have a random picture of this dude. I feel like that's so creepy. But I don't know what to do with that. I feel like I shouldn't throw it away. I really want a smoothie, but it's 30 minutes past close at Troubles, really. So that's an L. L for me. But dang, I really want a smoothie. Oh well. Y'all, this is Rachi. This is. He's getting ratchet, y'all. Something's gotta give. I went, wanted to perform. I literally told myself, you know what, I gotta go back. Even though I feel afraid, I should go back. What's crazy is my intuition led me away. I was like, this is not right. Then I go back and I still couldn't go. But I think it was the fact that I went back. It's like, there's certain things I do sometimes where I'm like, Alma, I respect you. You know what I mean? That's one of those things where it's like, you went back, you felt the fear. And I was telling y'all about like trying to draw that line between intuition and feelings. Maybe y'all, see that's the thing about trusting your intuition. It's like, you gotta trust it. You know what I mean? Like maybe I shouldn't be out here trying to draw the line and really should just be listening on the first time type wave. But it's also still fair for me to like, make sure I'm deciphering between just, oh, I'm in my feelings versus actual intuition. Um, because I, I, want some big, I want some better things to go on in my life. So like, I might feel like eating a fucking piece of chocolate if i have a, a mango then it's like i want that logic to override sometimes and override the feeling specifically not necessarily the intuition but that's what i'm saying i'm trying to make sure i have that divide between there but anyways um I, I did go back and i do still think that that was the right thing to do to go back and then to find out after because it would have been different if i would have just left and been like no it's fine i would have thought about it you know it would have maybe affected my confidence even you know, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, but it just makes me think that if, if I would have just went home and been like, well, maybe I should have just performed that one day, and what if I stopped being as consistent or trying as much, you know? I would never want that. Um, anyways, as y'all can see, it's Rashi out here. Oh, crap, I just, I just realized that thing is playing music. I can't put this clip in. Crap. I almost say something similar so they can understand. Maybe I should just put the clip in. I don't think you can. I didn't even know this was here. You're welcome. I should not. This is not. I don't know. This is just interesting. It's not. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Darn no, what I'm doing. I just can't say, she was you but now I'm okay. Right or wrong, I intend to do no harm. Building mama's wrong to damn God. Golden bridges, fighting and I have to go so standing tall.